So today I'm talking about a P1102 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P1102 code? Well, it's a mass airflow sensor in range, but lower than expected. And what does this mean? Well, there's a mass airflow sensor. It's located near the air intake box and it measures all the air that goes into the engine. And the onboard computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that goes into each cylinder. And the onboard computer's seen a problem with this. So it's gonna have to be troubleshooted to know why and some possible causes. Well, it could be a bad or dirty MAF sensor, could be a dirty intake air filter, could be in the wiring, could be a blown fuse. There might be a vacuum leak. And it also could be something like a restricted exhaust, like a clogged catalytic converter or something like that. Of course, usually when that happens, happens you're going to get other codes so if you are getting other codes be sure to pay attention to that and so the first thing to go and check when you get this code is go check the air intake filter and be sure it's not real dirty and clogged up because if it is real dirty and clogged up then the air won't be able to flow into the engine and it could throw that map sensor off so be sure to check that air intake filter and be sure it's not really dirty then the next thing to do is go locate that map sensor that mass airflow sensor on your particular vehicle it'll be located up around the air intake box somewhere where the air filter is or along the hose going into the engine for example here's a 2012 Toyota Corolla and the MAF sensor is right here and here's a 2006 Chevy Silverado 5.3 liter and the MAF sensor is right here the air intake box is right here and and the MAF sensor is right here but the first thing to go and do is to locate this MAF sensor on your particular vehicle and then once you locate it next thing to do is check out that wiring real good be sure there's nothing wrong with it be sure all the connections look like they're good and things like this basically just keep in mind anything wrong with that wiring open short bad connection it's going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor also keep in mind these could be on a fuse it could be kind of vague sometimes on which fuse they're on for example here's a 2016 Honda CRV and it would be on the ACG circuit fuse number two and if that blew that could cause issues so that's something to keep in mind and so if you check out that wiring and that all looks good then a very common problem with these sensors is that they just become dirty and they just need to be cleaned up there's some special cleaner called mass airflow sensor cleaner that you could use to clean them up and that quite often works so the next thing to do would be to take it out and get some cleaner and clean it up real good then put it back in clear the code and see if the code comes back if you can't get a hold of mass airflow sensor cleaner than isopropyl alcohol often works good if that code does come back then it's possible that that sensor did fail there's some different ways you go about testing that sensor i made a video on that i'll put a link down below if you want to check that out but the next thing to do would be the test or replace that map sensor if you've gone through and you've done all of that you checked out that wiring that looks good there's no blowing fuses you tested or replaced that map sensor and this code just keeps coming back then it is possible that there's a vacuum leak somewhere on the engine going into the intake or something along those lines so if you can go around and just check out the whole engine for any loose hoses or anything like this to check to see if there is a vacuum leak since that can throw these sensors off there's different ways you go about testing for a vacuum leak if you can't spot it the very common method is you just feed smoke into the intake manifold and wherever the smoke comes out then you know where the leak's at some mechanics will start up the engine and then they'll use a liquid spray and they'll go around and wherever they think the leak's at they'll spray and if the engine idle changes then they know they found the leak so there's some different ways you go about trying to find a vacuum leak but the next thing to do would be to go around and, and be sure there's no leaks going on anywhere because that can throw these sensors off and then the last thing on the list is going to be that there's a restricted exhaust for some reason like the exhaust got damaged or there's a clogged catalytic converter or something like that usually when this happens you're going to get other codes so always pay attention to other codes you might be getting but the last thing on the list is going to be that for some reason the exhaust is restricted and the air can't flow through the engine properly and so that's basically it i just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the p1102 code if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day